Greetings comic lovers and welcome back to Casually Comics, the channel where we chat all things comics from views of comics new and old to history to anecdotes to really wherever our whims take us. Today, another one of our more casual chit chat videos. Initially these started off with coffee and then I started filming them too late at night for that to happen and so now they're full of unsweetened almond milk, which I'm actually all about. It's that awkward moment where you brought it for set, but you're just gonna drink all of it, so midway through it's just gonna be an empty cup and you're gonna look mad. At the time of this recording, Disney just announced a whole slew of series coming to Disney Plus for 2021 onwards. Some of them may never see the light of day and some of them will be, we'll have to see. Everybody and their brother, sister, mother, uncle, aunt, goat made videos about this, but it made me think of something else entirely and that is adaptations and how while I love them, they also make me a little sad. Adaptations can be an amazing thing. Seeing your favorite characters and storylines come to life on the big or the small screen. There's something about seeing that visual representation, the, the moving pictures, ooh, moving pictures. But at the same time, that doesn't mean that it should detract from the original work. And a lot of the times it doesn't. There tends to be these camps of the book is always better or the comic is always better, but that's not always the case. Sometimes adaptations add things, nuances that come forth because of the change in medium, or even sometimes they can improve upon the source material by focusing in on something that was an aspect in the original that wasn't fully developed. Or just they get a grasp of it that translates better on screen. That can happen. However, at the time of this recording, especially in the MCU and DC is moving in that direction, there tends to be a bit of a feeling that the comics are being utilized so that they can become adaptations, and that's that. And also, particularly in the MCU, this happens a lot, the characterization bleed backwards. So you'll have those characterizations from the movies making their way back into the comics, which can be odd. You have what I like to call Tony Stark syndrome, which is Tony Stark had a comic book characterization. Then Robert Downey Jr. played him in 2008, excellently, with tons of charisma, but with a slightly different interpretation. Then that interpretation made its way back into the comics and now is accepted as the interpretation. It's fascinating. I just realized that I'm not wearing any lipstick. In this video, it's super casual. My God, bare lips, what has happened? I kinda hate it. I hate it. Who am I? Hold on. That's better, I'm me again. If anything, that could be an endorsement of this lipstick because it feels like you're wearing nothing at all. Where was I? Ah uh, yes, comics being their own thing. Comics are their own medium and should be allowed to exist as such. Of course, horizontal marketing makes sense in a lot of cases. You want things to tie in for everybody. Synergy. The idea that a person could watch a show, go and pick up a comic and everything makes sense. However, that's simply not the case and it's not necessarily a bad thing because there are some amazing rich histories and stories there, which is what was wanted to be pulled from in the first place. And when you end up creating things solely so that they can become adapted, you end up with a bit of a copy of a copy, watering things down. Of course, things that start off that way might fare better, but I don't know. I just feel that it's a bit like cheating comics out of being an art form in themselves, that there's nothing wrong with having works out there that aren't going to be adapted ever or have no desire to be, or that's just not the main goal. Just basically that TV and movies aren't the highest form of entertainment. Yeah, they're fun and pretty accessible, but that doesn't make them the best. There are other things out there. I just, this is a really rambling way for me to say that I love comics and I want people to still seek out comics as well. When I went to look up what if, because I was doing that Gwen Stacy, what if she lived video, I had to scroll so far to get past all of the Marvel cartoon what if, which the trailer looked cool. It looks like it's gonna be a good time. But at the same time, there are hundreds of amazing what ifs and crazy zany stories that are kind of being bypassed in their base form that is, as many people don't even know what to look for when it comes to them. I guess this just kind of ties back into a question that someone asked me a long time ago about this channel, which is why don't you talk more about adaptations and trailer reactions and the like? And it's because I feel there are enough people doing that. And that there should just be a focus sometimes on comics and not in a they're dying or they're perfect kind of way and just a let's look at them. And it's a lot. There's a lot of comics and kind of be hard to break into, especially if you're new. And they're worth it and they can stand on their own. It's always so cool to see them adapted and see what happens with that, but they don't have to be. I'm so thirsty. I don't know why. I read recently the Winter Soldier and Falcon comic book that I assume was meant to be a tie-in for the series, but it came out before because all the timelines got messed up because of the global pandemic and the like. But 
it was an interesting experience because the characterization within it was not their, well, not even classic, because the comic wherein Bucky comes back to life comes out in 2005, so it hasn't been that long. But the characterization they had together since that was different because it was more the MCU characterization. And I'm sure some people will be like, Sasha, what's wrong with that? That's perfect. But there's a whole history there. And I think there's a richness in going back and forth between adaptation and source and seeing those differences. It makes it a worthwhile experience when you can see that there's something else there. I guess this is why the title was so convoluted in that I love adaptations, I really do, but the idea that they could dilute from the source material makes me a little sad. I hope it's just a fad and that it's only gonna be a certain line of comics that are so dedicated to tying directly into their small and big screen counterparts and that there's still gonna be a whole bunch of worlds all out there on their own in a separate continuity or non-tenuity omniverse. <laughs> because that's okay. There's something so amazingly rewarding about diving into the madness of that world. It's hard to navigate, confusing, at times just odd or unpleasant, depending upon what corner you fall into, but so, so worth it. It's its own thing. It's its own experience and it can be separate from and that that's okay. It can intertwine and be strengthened by or weakened by, just like anything. Because that's not to say that there weren't things announced that I was excited for, but there are also some panels I recognized directly from and the way that they were pulled, it made me think, did you draw that panel in that comic because you thought it would help the story or because you wanted to see it adapted? Because those are two very different things. I guess in this time of horizontal marketing and synergy, I wanna hear what you all think. Cause as you can tell, I am torn and uncertain and just very protective of a medium that I love and that I feel oftentimes gets a bad rep or not as much appreciation or time granted to try and understand it as it may need or deserve. So please tell me, do you think I'm just a rambling, a bambling? That there's nothing to worry about? That it's absolutely fine? That you love everything that's going on? Or, you know, have a more nuanced opinion as is often the case? You just want to talk about my new wig or why I drink almond milk? You can leave all of those comments down below. I do want to hear how you feel about adaptations. And if you feel that at this point, we're just throwing anything at the wall and seeing what sticks and what effect you think they're having on the original source material. I like to have discussions every now and again. So please share all of your thoughts down below. And while you're down there, please do all the YouTube things. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you like these more random just chit chat videos because I can do them more often. And I will see you again soon. Bye bye. Thank you.